the CIA Surgery Channel album review. Let's chat about it. Hey friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album, the second album from husband and wife tag team of Ty and Danae Seagal, aka the CIA. They made their debut back in 2019, which is crazy to even think about uh, by now, but it was an album that really caught me off guard at the time. I instantly fell in love with their sound. It was simultaneously Simultaneously, a love letter to very heady, very hectic, very paranoid 80s punk, all glossed up with a modern sheen, and a heavy dose of synths, and I thought the band's energy was their strong point. I did really love it as a debut. Now, if you're not familiar with Ty's music, I'm simultaneously very jealous and kind of jealous uh, of the position that you're in. I'm kind of jealous because... Uh, if you're about to dive in headfirst in discography, you're going to listen to so much great music from over the years. Like, I can list albums for hours of his that are worth listening to. But I'm also not jealous because it's a big endeavor. But if you know anything about the guy and his side projects and his collaborations over the years... You never really know when he's gonna pick something up and dust something off and come out with another album in a series or try something that he did six years ago, which is why I didn't know if we were even gonna ever hear from the CIA once again, but here they are with their second album, Surgery Channel, and man, I've been really excited about this. These singles have been so good. They are just this great blend of sort of sexy, but also really freaky. Let's chat about this thing. I'm not gonna waste any time. Time. While I'm not perfect, I think this is the first must-listen-to album of the year. Better early on in the album does not waste a single second. It just takes off instantly into a sort of very hectic synth-punk jam. But the one thing that has changed in the last few years is Danae's performing style. This entire album, she has upped every ante as far as being a front woman goes. Her performances throughout this whole album are fantastic. And this is a really intense performance from her. It's equal parts manic, but also really sexy at points too but it also has an old school punk urgency that i just can't help but salute i love this inhale exhale on the other hand sounds like the material that they were putting out on their debut and i don't mean that in a bad way this sounds like the next logical leap it's winding it's jarring i mean just really try and keep your head on straight listening to this riff it's hard to keep track of and danae's very shrieked vocals that we get here are even harder but it's super commanding it keeps you on your toes this track is wild and for me i don't think it gets any better than impersonator this was easily my first single leading up to this album i should say favorite single leading up to this album and it's only grown on me ever since this is a freakish weirdo jam for the ages i mean if you know anything about ty and his influences he was very well you know balanced as far as influences go he was just as much influenced by the weirdo rock of Frank Zappa as he was as, like, well, I don't know, the residents. But this track is literally Ty and Danae letting their freak flags fly in the best way. It's a kinky, seductive, dangerous jam with a really fantastic riff. I can't say enough good about it. On the other hand, Surgery Channel, this album's title track, may be the most overtly punk thing here. It's beefy, it's meaty, it's just as noisy, but I really feel like Danae's performance is what holds it all together. The result is once again very heady and hard to keep track of, but an absolute blast. It's also just so paranoid, and this course is so guttural and... Ah! Yeah, I, I freaking love this album. The material here is easily some of the best music I've heard all year. Yes, I know it's still January. It still stands up as some of the best stuff that I've heard of any genre this year. I just kind of wish that there were a couple of tracks here where Danae and Ty just kind of stop messing around. Like the introduction to this album. I can't stand when Ty gets into these modes. This isn't overly noisy and just kind of overly experimental and just really mindless instrumental intro it goes nowhere it's not edgy and it really doesn't do anything for the album at all it's studio fuckery that didn't need to show up today i could say a lot of the same things on surgery channel 2 i think this is the worst track here this is a messy jammy throw at everything at the wall but like nothing sticks sort of instrumental interlude from ty i just i can't stand that these moments are just keep popping up on his albums. It's not exciting, daring, or even experimental. It's muddy, murky, and uninspired. If you whip this out at a live show, I honestly would be really disappointed. Now, I will give credit where it's due. It's easily the most overtly dark and looming thing here. It does have a great atmosphere, but it's just not enough for me. 
And Construct later the album, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. Like, this is probably one of the more dangerous sounding tracks here once again, which is something that I've enjoyed so far. Listen, I get it. It's supposed to be a little out there. But this track just takes me out of the groove of this album entirely. It slows the album down to a halt and makes things really come off awkward. And just everything here sounds phoned in. The instrumental, the lyrics, the performances, blah. But I'm done with my gripes. Everything about this album is really exciting at the end of the day. And I still think the CIA have such a fresh sound. Bubble is a little bit slower, but jam. It's really calculating too. But it's just as suffocating. It's just as tense. I really am impressed with what they're doing still. And Danae, once again, in her performance here, sounds so incredibly driven. I'm so impressed with her. It's a very dangerous uh, sort of track with, once again, just the right amount of sexy. On the other hand, You Can Be Here is one of the most wild and off-the-rails track here. This is the CIA after three cups of coffee. It's noisy and caffeinated and hard to keep track of. But even this sounds right where it should be, mostly because we're getting another fantastic performance from Danae. We're getting some really fantastic synth work here. This track sounds right. The way on the other hand has almost an industrial feel to it it just starts meaty and it just keeps getting meatier as this track rolls along i mean if you need a good workout album for your for your gym playlist put some of these tracks on here they're great and today's performances by this point have gotten so out of control i can't help but smile and under is a very different track for the album this has been an overly caffeinated, wild-eyed album from start to finish with really no clue of where it's going to go next. Then we have a really sort of stripped-down track out of nowhere, but it's actually done really well. It's quiet, it's meditative, and it doesn't speed up, but we do get a very bulky rip and some off-kilter drums. Oddly enough, though, it really works overall. It almost reminds me of like a B-side from Ty's Emotional Mugger. It's a big risk, but it shows depth. And Over is a really weird, far-out, off-kilter finale that is just a blast. It's intense, it's heady, and dare I say, it has more personality than... God, most of the tracks here, and that's saying something. It's groovy, it's slick, it's got some meat to it. It's a great finale. This album shows, once again, the CIA have a really great killer sound, and Danae and Ty together are a fantastic team. Now, this album is not perfect. It's not going to be for everybody either, but I think if you're into the headier and heavier side of rock music, you should be giving this a try. It's just the right blend of weirdo rock, some very commanding performances, a throwback punk sound, with some really shiny synths as well. And the energy is here. There's a lot of great stuff on this album, and I'm very happy to report that. I'm feeling a light aid on this album, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.